All right, guys. So today I'm gonna show you how we can trade on spot Binance Spot Trading and make profit. Now, in order to do this, you need to write down how much money you put. For example, okay, I bought Ethereum in 16 of August. I bought $500, and the price was $1,800. Okay, this was the price, and then I do simple averaging, guys. What I taught you inside. Uh, this channel so around here I bought it right here okay I bought it right here and the market go down I just do simple dollar cost averaging so my average price is around here and now as of this moment I can take profit already okay I can sell it in profit so I bought my total investment is 1500 now is 1536 so what I can do is that I can sell everything in here. So let me sell my Ethereum here. So I just sell everything. Let me click on sell. So I will sell everything. Sell Ethereum. So now my Ethereum become USDT. Now I'm going to tell you it's going to be a good strategy guys for buying long. And uh, it's definitely safer because there is no liquidation compared to playing futures. So you can see here we have history. So we make thirty-six dollar profit. It's not much, but you know it's it's a good thing. So what I do is again I wait for this RSI go oversold. You can even use Hikanashi, and then you can simply see if. The candlestick is losing momentum when it is at the bottom uh, then you can buy up okay you can buy the coin you hold it and then you wait the price to go up over bot area and then you can sell it so it's actually more profitable than you were to just hold it okay for example here if let's say you if let's say you bought here at 1000 then you sell it at 2000 so you make almost 100 percent right 100 percent of the return from 1000 to 2000 but if you bought it here and sell it here and then you buy it again here you actually make more profit you can do the math yourself and then you can sell it right here and then if it goes down you can buy it again and then you can sell it so you have one two three three times of sell and you actually make more money Okay, the, the logic behind it, the math behind it is like this. Let's say you put $1,000, right? And it goes up to $1,500, you sell $1,500. It goes down to $1,400, you bought with this $1,500, you can get probably 10% more. Probably you can get more coins, right? When it's at bottom, maybe here you can get 1.5 coins. When it goes down to 1,400, you can get maybe 1.55 coins. Okay, so when it go up again to 2,000, this 155 coins it will make you like $3,000. Instead of you have one coin here, and then at $2,000 you sell, you know, just that same one coin, you only make $2,000. You know, you get what I mean, guys. You can do the math again, this is more profitable. Again, with only one condition, guys, with only one condition, you must know when to buy and when to sell. That's it. If you don't know when to buy, when to sell, then, you know, you can just hold it. You know, obviously, hold it is much better rather than, let's say, if you don't know when to sell, let's say you sell here and then you buy here, you are losing money, okay? If you don't know how to do this, then uh, you better just hold it for the long run, maybe five to ten years later, you know, it's much better for newbies just to hold it you know unless you maybe you know how to read the market then uh, this is also a good option guys so for me what i'm doing right now i'm just waiting okay i'm waiting for the market to go below this price and then i will buy again i still believe it will go down some more guys i still believe it because you know the bear market is not over yet although the merge is happening uh, I think it's just a fake pump. It's going to be a fake pump. At some point, it's going to go down. 
and then I'm gonna buy the dip. Okay, whether even if it's going up, guys. Okay, whether even if it's go up right here to three thousand, it's bound to go down somewhere. And this is when I'm gonna buy, and then when it's go up, I'm gonna sell. All right. And also make sure you write down everything so that you know your average price. Again, to calculate your average price, you just add your total investment divided by your total coins. Then you will find your average price. It doesn't matter where you bought the coin. You could even bought the coin here at the all-time high, 4,000. It doesn't matter. If it goes down, just do dollar cost averaging. So when you buy a coin, don't put all the money in there. Uh, make sure you space it out maybe 5 to 10 times. Uh, then even during the bear market, you know, it's still fine. You can have average price around here, even if you were to bought up here. Okay, it doesn't matter.